Hello, you are welcome. Here, let's solve this nice algebra exponent equation whereby we are finding x and y. From here, we are given 3 raised to the power x plus y minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 216. And uh, from the law of indices, when we have something like this, we can write it again as 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power y minus then minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 216. And on this side, we have 3 raised to the power x common. We take it out and this will give us 3 raised to the power x into bracket 3 raised to the power y then minus 1 here which is equals to 216 and uh, from here we can express 216 as a product of its prime so we have 216 2 can go there that will give us 108 also 2 we divide that will give us 56 from here sorry 54 that gives us 54 from here then 2 we go again that give us 27 then next we have 3 3 we divide that give us 9 3 again that give us 3 3 again that give us 1 so we express this you know 216 now we group it together we have 2 in 3 places that's 2 raised to power 3 and we have 3 in 3 places that's 3 raised to power 3 so now instead of writing this 216 let's now write it in form of we now have 3 raised to power x multiplied by 3 raised to power y then minus 1 will now be equals to 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 we have them 33 times there then when we now compare this we discover that from here we can compare 3 raised to power x as uh, 3 raised to power 3 then we say 3 raised to power x from here equals to 3 raised to power 3 and also we can compare 3 raised to power y minus 1 to be equals to 2 raised to power 3 then on this side is already solved because same base on both side we now equate the power we have x equals to 3 from here then on this side we can write 2 raised to power 3 as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 we have 3 raised to power y minus 1 equals to 8 then we can take minus 1 here become plus we now have 3 raised to power y equals to 8 plus 1 that's 9 then also we can solve this further and say 3 raised to the power y equals to 9 can be expressed as 3 squared. Now we have seen this as well now. Then we can say y equals to 2. So we have y equals to 2, x equals to you know 3. Let's check from what we have. We have 3 raised to the power x plus y minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 216 now when we put x equals to 3 and y equals to 2 with this be equals to 216 now 3 raised to the power we have 3 raised to the power 3 plus 2 then minus 3 raised to the power 3 is it going to be 216 from here then when we see from this we have 3 raised to the power 5 now then minus 3 raised to the power 3 will it be 216 then 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 in 5 places so we have 243 now minus here is 27 is it equal to 216 now when we subtract from here this will give us 216, which is equal to 216. So left hand side now equals to the right hand side. And we can now conclude that from here, x is equal to 3 and y equals to 2 in this our given problem. Thank you for watching.
please subscribe for more exciting videos and give a thumbs up also put in the comment section if you have a better way of solving this see you next class and bye for now